Hey YouTube, what's up? Diablo TCG back. We're continuing to open that Sword and Shield Darkness of Blaze case. Uh, we got three boxes left. We've gone through three so far. So we'll do a little mid-season recap here uh, since we're about halfway through the case. And so far, it's honestly been amazing. Um, I kind of want to keep those boxes sealed because we pulled so much good stuff. I can't see it getting better from here, but let's go through the Rillaboom Gold, Big Parasol Gold. So we've already gotten two gold hits. We've got two rows full arts. One Crobat V, full art. Yeah, I just love the background on this card, like that tie-dye color scheme, pretty awesome. Got two Salamence V, full art. Got the Charizard V Max, we've already gotten in. That's such a cool artwork, such a hype card, I love it. Got the Grimstone V Max, if I can get that in focus. Grimstone V Max, Salamence V Max, the Eternus V Max. Dude, this card is ridiculous with 340 HP and only two energies for his attack that can do up to 240. So I think this will be a very playable deck. Um, looking forward to that. Got a couple of Charizard Vs to go with our Charizard V Max. The Crobat V, super playable card once again. Um, yeah, just cycle through your deck. Turn this V to feed into the V Max. A couple Mews. Um, this honestly looks pretty playable by itself. x -Ball does 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon, so it seems like just like a solid beater, <laughs> if we want to put into Yu-Gi-Oh terms. Um, Senna Scorch, a couple of those. We're still looking for the V-Max, actually. We haven't gotten one yet. Two Vega Volts, the anti-meta card of this box. Uh, Grosnarl V, Stunfist V, and Rhyperior V. Not too exciting toward the end, but it is what it is. Still ultra-rare cards. Um, and speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, we are busting out all of the retro Yu-Gi-Oh mats we have in storage. This one we got the Aki Winna mats from 2010, back when we used to go to Yu-Gi-Oh Regional, Sam and I. Uh, he won this one. Um, this is actually one of two. Uh, he might tell you the story while we're opening up booster packs, but he does have two of these. There's only one of them. Um, it's an awesome mat. I think it's like worth a few uh, bucks nowadays. Um, but yeah, it's a good looking map. So we got another box, let's get into it. So I haven't pulled a Rainbow Rare yet, so we're looking for that. Um, so I haven't pulled any of the Butterfreeze, uh, and, or any of the Scizors, so I think we're looking for those just for variety's sake. Um, but not complaining, like we've pulled all of like the really money cards and like chase cards already, so you know what, I'm not too sure. I guess we can get the Golden Turbo Patch, but we've gotten the other two. Um, honestly, I think at the end of this case opening, I'll put together a binder just to see how close to a master set we've gotten. kind of like doing that when I'm doing like huge case openings. Um, I did that with Legendary Heartbeat. I don't know if that video is going to go up before or after this one, but Sam and I in one video, one sitting, we just cracked open six boxes uh, to try and get all six of those amazing rares. So um, yeah, uh, we'll see if that video is out or not. But let's just get into these packs. Enough uh, yammering. Um, let's go for those. Let's just say uh, Scissor V. That Scissor V art honestly looks cool, so I'd be down to get that one. And of course, more Crobats, always welcome. Let's get some more Charizards. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's a given. <laughs> if we can get more Charizards, definitely welcome here. But, um, okay, first pack, got a Wigglytuff. Anime Wiggly. I guess we're gonna call him from now on. Got yeah, some room. But yeah, it just feels good to be getting back into opening packs and just collecting cards again. Uh, it's been a few years since I've done it last. Um, I used to have a uh, YouTube channel called Dablo Trader. Um, not sure if this is going up on that channel or if I'm going to start new for Pokemon. Um, but that was mostly Yu-Gi-Oh content. Now, um, a bit more casual. I'm not going to play too much. I'm more about the collecting. Um, but yeah, it's just so nostalgic getting to open packs. Got our first holo, Decidueye. And a Passimian, yeah, Passimian verse. Oh, and our first hit, Grimson All V Max. Uh, get him in focus. Could have been a Charizard, you're not wrong. Same slot. And the ratios of the three boxes so far have been all over the place. We got one box with seven hollows. That was the first one. Although we did get the Crobat 4 in that one. Uh, with five B cards. 
second one had nine hollows or nine ultra rares plus in it. That a golden rare it had um what's the main hit? It got a Crobat V in there. It had a couple of full arts and a couple of V maxes, so that was nice. And of course that last box Sam opened. You got the Charizard V Max, the Chase card, the Big Man himself. That was awesome. And you got a gold drill boom. That was honestly like probably the best box I've ever seen, like out of all the openings I've seen on YouTube and things like that. So shout outs to Sam. Post his link in the description of that video, <laughs> but he doesn't need an introduction from my channel. Um, he has his own YouTube channel for context. Uh, he mostly goes over twice and K-pop stuff. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be too much overlap uh, between the two communities, but um, I think the nature of his content is a little bit the same though. He is collecting a lot of those photo cards. Oh, there's a Lugia. Nice. Love this artwork. Putting him over here. Um, so maybe there's a little bit of overlap, just like people who are into collecting cards. And in which case, welcome to this channel and go check out his stuff as well. Um, Sam, you want to tell the story about how you got two Aki masks, or you want to keep that no, on the DL? It's a little too long, but I'll just say that I'm unaffected by karma. <laughs> That's very true. Um, and it's nothing shady. It's more like, I mean, I'll just say it because that sounded too <laughs> sus. I'll just like give a brief TLDR. Um, basically, there is a Yu Gi Oh! regional, which is like the regional tournament that they used to hold. And um, once you're out of the main event, they have like a bunch of side events called Winamat um, tournaments, and they're like usually brackets of eight. So, um, Sam, did you? How did you have a mat already? Did you win I, one? No, I, I traded for one. Oh, okay. So, so that was cool. Okay, so he traded for this. This was the Winamat that they were offering that day, and um, Sam, I think, just traded for one earlier in the day, and then we entered one after we got out of the main event, and then using the mat that he traded for, he took it in the finals off of the other guy um, so I mean it was well deserved since he did win the duel but... I'll, I'll elaborate a little more okay so, I, cut, I actually collected the set because it's one of each like main signer character so I had Yusei and Jack already so okay, I, I right, traded right. for this Aki one because I wanted to like add to the set but I didn't get Crow because it looked kind of ugly so. <laughs> <laughs> I fr the Blackwing Dragon mat honestly didn't look that great yeah, I'm so not I, I traded for this one because that's why I wanted to finish for like having a set of, of these mats but I was, using, I was using Yusei in the first, the first round of the finals for this. Because I didn't want to... Originally I was like, I don't want to jinx it because I want another, I just want to win it because, you know, it's dope to win. But when I won the first match really easily, I was like, okay, this guy's kind of bad. Yep. The guy that I'm playing is kind of bad. So I'm just going to wow. like, show off. Also, he had no mat at all. Wow. So I was talking to him a little bit before, like, in between while we were side decking. And I was like, yo, like, why aren't you using mat? He's like, oh, I don't have one. I want to like win the first match. And I was oh like, oh, my okay. god, I was no, like, Sam. <laughs> I was like, do you mind if I change the mask? And he's like, yeah, go for it. And I changed it to the Aki mask. And he was like, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, and then, no. And then I won the next match. Like, like actually, like, the, the next game really fast, too. Oh, and then man. I just took it and walked away. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize it was that brutal. I forgot, definitely forgot the context about the other guy not having a mat. But you know what? You won the duel fair and square. You earned the mat. So. Not gonna lie, he was just kind of bad, though. So I was, I was just like, whatever. Yeah, so nothing can say about that. I mean, no handouts. Gotta earn your keep out here in the Yu-Gi-Oh world. Um, so this box has been kind of dry so far, man. I think all of the hits went into that last box we opened. Um, but we'll see. We only have one um, Ultra Rare above so far. But we're gonna keep on going. Maybe it's the mat, dude. It's the Karma mat. Now <laughs> it's like permeating into this box. Okay, well, thanks for the Yeah, we have got three of those now. So just looking for a fourth one. That's pretty awesome. We're still looking for the V act, or the V Max. I don't think we've gotten one of those yet. But we'll take the. Let me Sports let me open v. the next Charizard pack. All right, sure. And that's the top one. So Sam will open the next pack. This one is the Senna Scorch. So maybe we'll get that Senna Scorch V Max. It's a hit too. Oh, <gasps> no way! It's another gold card. <laughs> Wait, capture energy gold. Wow. Wait, <laughs> that's three boxes in a row. We've pulled a gold card. Hey. Wow. Wait, are these supposed to be that common? Um, yeah, leave a comment in the below. Let me know if uh, gold cards are supposed to be that like horrible, I guess that was a thick pack. Wow, okay, so there's actually four gold cards. I forgot about capture energy um, But there's also turbo patch and that's the last one we haven't gotten yet. And wow, let's look at that Let's see if I'm getting focus here. It just looks so awesome like the action lines in the back just like They kind of go oh, with the, uh, the The sparkliness of the really? gold card. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna sleep this up. Yeah, as we overshadow Sam's opening of nothing, you know, we kind of distracted from that a little bit. 
Um, okay, never mind. The mat's not karma. We got another gold card. Nice. Three gold cards in a row out of three boxes. This has been an insane case so far. Four boxes so far. All right, the first box. But the first box had the Crobat V4. Yeah. That was a really awesome pull. So not going to take away from that, but three out of four so far. Let's see if we can get all f uh, four, I guess. <laughs> all four gold cards out of this one case. That would be insane. We haven't gotten a golden rare yet. Or not golden rare, rainbow rare yet. So uh, maybe that's taking up the spot of that. Thank you, Shin. Hello, not related Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But I'm uh, Jungian's on v Live chat right now. Uh -huh. Let's talk about Among Us. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, she plays, right? Yeah, straight up. Yeah, Among Us, uh, I don't know if any of you guys play, but it's like a mafia-like game um, where you're just sitting in a lobby with your friends and then you're trying to complete tasks, but then there are two imposters among you guys, which is the namesake of the game Among Us, and they try to sabotage the tasks and try to kill as many people as they can before they get found out by the other people. But it's been a really fun game that I've been kind of just casually playing with my friends after work. Uh, it's been a blast. And then now apparently twice plays it too, so. She also shouted out Fall Guys. That's oh wait, Fall Guys is another game. casual game we've been playing. That's yeah. a lot of ads for that too on Facebook. Yeah, that game actually just came out, but dude, like the hacking in that game is incredible already. Like, straight up people would just have like 2x move speed and they can fly. It's just like so rampant. It's like making me not want to play. Got a Furret and a Serena. But yeah, like the first, I guess, week we're playing it, because it came out like August 4th. Uh, there are no hackers, and the games are just super fun. And it's like really easy to snipe each other's lobby. So if you have like 12 people, it's like lobbies of four, but you can like try to time up the queue at the same time and get into the same game. So we just had like entire lobbies, and then like the homies and I would just all have the same um, costume on. We'd be the watermelons. And then like we'd always tell when like we all made into one lobby, because like everyone, like half of the lobbies would just look the same. Uh, definitely a good time. Mickey normal. As well as reverse. Wait, how many packs do we have left? Not that many. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, yeah, ten. I'm open the last two from this side. Okay, sure. So we got ten packs left, but we've only gotten three hits. I mean, one of them's a gold card, so I'm not going to complain, but the ratio seems kind of low on this box. Unless, like, the rest of the packs are just loaded with hits. Let's see. Oh, just something. oh okay, Sam got something in his. Oh, so right, right, Carrier V. I mean, we'll take it at this point. We're just, like, lacking hits right now. Um... Got a Volcarona regular. Spike Muth. Oh, I got a hit in this one. Boom. Vika Volt V. Take it. Oh, this is nothing. We're going to my anti meta deck. <laughs> I think this is the third one we got in, so get in there. This card, this, this Pokemon looks terrible. Uh, Mr. Rhyme. <laughs> Mr. Rhyme, Galarian. I don't even know what the regular Mr. Rhyme looks like, let alone Galarian Mr. Rhyme. So we've got two duds. Mr. Rhyme is like if a 10 year old wanted to draw an evolved version of Mr. Rhyme. Oh, nice, Lugia. Alright, that's a hit. Use it though. We take those. Alright, so we've gotten five hollows or five ultra rares. We've gotten. We have five packs left. So you gotta hit at least, you gotta hit three out of these five. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, probably two out of the five, because we have seen like a two um, mm -hmm. ultra rare, or seven ultra rare box, that first one. So this might be another one of those. This one feels like it. But we did get the golden card, so I think that, you know, that one is supposedly not supposed to take up a hollow spot, but we'll see. We got a flag on. Got uh, Arctozoat Hollow. Oh no. We've got the last three, three packs, packs left. left. Alright. Um, we got one VMAX, three Vs, and a Capture Energy. Okay, let's see. Give us the Pulse. Regular oh, Vanillux. Alright, so I guess uh, these next two gotta be good. Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. got that's something. Fun. Oh, okay, hey, Scizor V. Scizor. Nice. nice, that's something we haven't seen before. Alright, we'll take it. Scizor V. I thought Scizor was pretty cool. Agreed. The, the uh, that leaves. Oh, I left the reverse. Whoops, thank you. Um, where did I leave it? Oh, there it is, playing. 
And last pack. Last pack. Let's see if we can get the Charizard VMAX in the Charizard <laughs> VMAX pack. Let's do it. I mean, I think, yeah, I think we're due for one. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh hey. Polar Scizor. It's a Scizor, but a different, different one. Nice. So the last few packs were loaded, um, and we ended up pulling through and getting at least ratio. Um, the minimum size ratio, but ratio nonetheless. Yo, that's sick. I was just saying how we weren't getting the scissors, but we got two of them in this, two in in this box. Yeah. Dude, the arts on these honestly look cool. I don't think they're worth a ton, but it just looks awesome. Going into the collection for sure. Alright. So, I mean, a bit of an underwhelming box. We did get the gold card, but we didn't get any of the huge hits like uh, Crobat or Charizards. So, I mean, we're due for a cooler box after uh, that ginormous third box that Sam pulled. But yeah, two boxes left in the case. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can do and finish strong.